I pulled three cards, a little intense for this evening, but that's okay. Uh, sometimes the more intense the cards, there's more opportunity for change and newness. So let's get excited. First card, two of coins upside down. And we have the jack of coins upside down. And we have the Nameless Arcana upside down. Okay. So, you know, I, I never re-record these videos unless my dogs are making a lot of noise um, because I just think it's more meaningful if I just kind of go with what's coming up in the moment and not try to script it out or plan it out too much. Um, so this, I, I do feel like these cards could go in different directions, but I need to focus here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap around, um, money issues. There may be, uh, just a little bit of tension or struggle with finances right now, feeling like there needs to be more balance, more structure. You could be looking at the past and saying, oh, well, that worked, you know, a few years ago. Why, why am I having issues in this area with finances right now? And uh, so try to let go of, of looking at the past and what worked and just focus on uh, making new plans for the future and for the present and figuring out what works for you now. And I think, I think we should tap on, on shame around money because I think that's a big one. And I think uh, that may be a good place to start. And then when you can kind of clear up that intensity around the shame part, then you may be able to, may be able to get to the next layers of kind of what's coming up. Money's a big one, okay? Anyone I've worked with around money, there's usually a lot of layers. There's a lot of limiting beliefs that go way back to childhood. Um, so there can be a lot here, but let's go ahead and just work on the shame, which I think is just such a, a heavy emotion and one that, you know, when you are able to get past that, which I know is not always easy, you're really able to free yourself and, and open yourself up to other areas that are easier to work through. And then, and then hopefully you have freedom around these money issues period. So let's go ahead and start. So for this one, I, I recommend just feet on the ground, just feeling a little bit more grounded because this is a little bit of a heavier issue and also just reminding you that you are responsible for your well-being. So please tap responsibly. Okay, so go ahead and feel into the intensity that you may feel around this, the shame around money. Maybe you're embarrassed to admit to your partner that you made some bad decisions. Maybe you're shaming yourself for just not being in a better position right now, whatever it may be, just really, you know, closing your eyes and tuning into shame around money and rate the intensity from zero to 10, 10 being the most intense, zero being no intensity at all. And you can notice if it's showing up in your body anywhere. I'll go ahead and just in the tapping, use tightness in my stomach, but you can you can change the words to whatever, you know, whatever's coming up for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start with hands on the heart and just being grateful that you are acknowledging this challenge right now and that you're giving yourself time and your energy to work through this. And just take a nice, easy breath in through the nose and hold it. 
and release through the mouth. Go ahead and start tapping on the side of the hand. You can keep your eyes closed if you want. I'll tell you when we're moving from point to point. Even though I'm feeling this shame about money right now, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm feeling the shame, there's this tightness in my stomach and I'm choosing to acknowledge it and show myself some compassion. Even though I feel the shame around money and the choices I've made recently, I'm choosing to acknowledge it, process it, and move on. Good, top of head, this shame, eyebrow, this shame around money, side of eye, it feels pretty intense right now. Under eye, this shame. Under nose, I'm not really sure how I got here. Chin point. And I know beating myself up about it isn't gonna do any good. Collarbone, but boy, am I feeling the shame right now. Underarm, this shame around money. And just, let's just pause and take a nice, easy breath. And close your eyes if, if you had your eyes open and just tune into the intensity again. And just taking note of where it falls on the zero to 10 scale and acknowledging that it may feel a little bit higher and that's okay. Things are coming up and we'll continue to move through them. Side of hand. Even though the shame is coming up for me right now. I'm thinking about all oh, the mistakes I feel like I made with money. Maybe I'm wishing I did things differently. And I'm choosing to be compassionate with myself right now. Even though I have this shame around money, and I'm reflecting on the choices I made. And I'm probably thinking about the past a little too much right now. And I'm choosing to allow myself to work through it. Even though I'm feeling the shame around money right now, I thought I'd be in a different situation at this point in my life. I'm choosing to acknowledge how I'm feeling and work on getting some relief right now. Good, top of head. This shame, eyebrow, this shame around money, side of eye, I'm feeling this tightness in my stomach. Under eye, been carrying the shame for a long time. Under nose, and I'm ready to work through it. Chin point, I'm ready to let go of the shame. Collarbone, 
I know that may be easier said than done. Under arm. But I'm committed to working through it and getting relief and moving on. Top of pen. Because you like to think of money as energy. Eyebrow. Energy that I can exchange and I can attract. Side of eye. The shame around money. Under eye. I know it does not serve me. Under nose. And really, I want to extend compassion to myself right now. Chin point. I want to move past the shame. Collarbone. And I'm choosing to work through it right now. Underarm, this shame around money. Gamut point, this shame around money. Take a nice easy breath and through the nose and out through the mouth. Go ahead, close your eyes again and just check in with yourself. See what may have come up during that round, how it's feeling in your body. And we'll do one more round, but you know, there may be a lot coming up. That's okay. You can continue tapping on your own and addressing the thoughts that are coming up. Side of hand. Even though I have the shame around money, And I'm thinking way back to all the choices I made around money that are now making me feel all this shame. And then I'm choosing to work through it. Even though I'm feeling shame around money, I'm choosing to extend myself compassion right now. Even though there's the shame around money, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Top of head, the shame around money. Eyebrow, I'm choosing to work through it. Side of eye, I'm choosing to release it. Under eye, I'm choosing to move forward. Under nose, and make decisions around money that serve me. Chin point without having shame weighing me down. Collarbone. I'm choosing to balance my energy. Underarm. So I can attract the energy of money. Top of head. I'm choosing to let go of the shame. Eyebrow. It does not serve me. Side of eye. I choose to move forward in the best possible way. Under eye. That best serves me. Under nose. I'm choosing to attract energy. Chin point and money is energy. 
collarbone. I choose to extend compassion to myself right now. Underarm. And then I choose to let go of this shame. Gamut point. Letting go of this shame. Hands to heart. Take a nice easy breath in through the nose and hold it. And release through the mouth. Another breath in through the nose and hold it. And release through the mouth. Good. So like I said, keep tapping if things are coming up and you feel like you have more to move through. And if you're finding that there are a lot of limiting beliefs and challenges coming up around money, I recommend scheduling an appointment with myself or another EFT practitioner who can help support you and guide you, ask the right questions, and help you work through this. Have a wonderful evening.